Welcome to Buffalo Bills Drunk Game Bonanza. Today we're going to be talking about Pac-Man on the Nintendo something system. Now, I always keep a spare beer in my game depot. Uh, let's, uh, let's start playing. You see this? This is quality entertainment. This is just like I'll remember in the laundromat cleaners. In the late 70s to early 80s, there was pretty much only one way to play a video game. Go to your nearest diner or arcade and grab yourself a bunch of quarters. There was no way to play these games from the comfort of your home until some companies started making these games available on your TV. But Atari and Coleco were your best bet. And they didn't look just like the games on the arcades, they were night and day. Is this Donkey Kong or Chewbacca? I can't tell the difference. 1983 rolls by and you know the drill. Nintendo comes by and releases the Nintendo Entertainment System. This system came by with their first wave of games, also known as the Black Box Copies, with the first few games on the Arcade Classics line, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong Jr., and Donkey Kong 3. These games all really had one thing in common, that being Mario and Donkey Kong being the main characters, minus Stanley the Bugman in Donkey Kong 3. Stanley the Bugman? What the f***? These aren't all the arcade classic games on NES though, these are just the first wave of them. Every single arcade game made their way to the NES. Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, Galaxian, Qbert, Popeye, Burger Time, Xevious, Space Invaders, every single game. Nintendo even made games that weren't on arcades, but felt like they debuted in them. Super Mario Bros., Ice Climbers, Excite Bike, Contra, Urban Champion, and Duck Hunt were all games Nintendo made that felt like they were meant to be on arcades. Now, with the same people that grew up with these games, sometimes they get confused that these games came out on arcades before the NES. So when I was a kid, I lived in Lake Stevens, Washington, and there was this coin-operated laundromat near my house, and it had Super Mario Brothers, the original arcade game. I think it's great that these games were on the NES. While they were kind of inferior, they still had some charm to them. I do like to play these games, but when someone tries to hand me Pac-Man and someone gives me the NES copy without telling me, there will be a closed casket funeral tonight. However, when it comes to Galaga, I'll forgive you on it. Because the NES has in fact the best version of Galaga, but oh god I'll scream at anyone that calls the game Galactica. Hey, you wanna play some Galaga? You mean Galactica? The NES had some pretty good tech for the 1980s. Considering the sprites and everything were at least accurate, if we're talking about arcade to NES games, some sprites were altered, like in Mario Brothers, where Mario and Luigi look a little bit different in terms of color palette and eyes. Shell creepers were less fat, and the pipes didn't have that one wheel in the NES version. Donkey Kong on NES actually has the right order of levels. The arcade version has level 3 as level 2 and level 2 as level 3. Still with me? Pac-Man seems to be a bit on the controversial side. Reason why I say Pac-Man is controversial is because it's one of the most inaccurate arcade games on the NES. Color palettes are darker, maze is fitted to the 4x3 screen of 1980s TVs, sound effects are different because of the NES's limited sound channels, that's another thing for all of these, the sound effects. They're all altered from their arcade counterparts. Here are some examples. There are going to be a lot of games in this era that we're exploring at 
where there's gonna be a lot of video game companies trying to advertise you an arcade game and they'll tell you stuff like it's just like the original but really it's an interpretation of the games that came out around that time basically what i'm saying nothing's gonna beat the original and thank god that they at least put some effort into putting these types of uh ports of arcade games onto their consoles you know at least it's not gonna look unrecognizable 